What are your plans for us tonight? My plans are have some video time. Hey, we're then, grounded. We, then we play a game. Grounded. Then we're going to have crap time. Grounded, grounded, grounded. In this together. Good morning. Bless Good you. Good morning. Good morning, guys. We're getting ready for school. I need to get Abram up. He has school today as well. Sam and I have some plans that we want to do today and have a feeling we're not going to get to any of them. So Abram is going to be turning three this coming Sunday. His party is Saturday and we want to get him a big boy bed and transform his room into a big boy room. And the idea is for us to do it all while he's gone and he'll come home from school today to a new room. But that's just not going to happen. There's no way. Okay, are you excited for Crazy Hot Day today? Um, well, yes, but... I'm excited to see my friend's hat, too. You are? Yes. It's exciting. Ow. Take ow. this. Ow, ow, ow. Well, you are the cutest pigtail you ever made. You are so cute. Okay. Time to reveal that. Here it is. Goes on perfectly with your little piggies. Mm-hmm. Now I feel like a farmer. You're so cute. Hey, guys, look at this sweet little angel. Good morning. All right, Nia and I have two choices here. We can go to Rooms to Go, or we can go to Rooms to Go for kids. We need both of them. But I think we're going to start with Abram's room. <laughs> you guys, oh, look how cute. I want to get Symphony something, too. Like, it's little girl stuff. Wow, that's awesome. It's like a space room. Oh my gosh, Abram would love it here. Oh, I feel sad he's not here to help us pick. He would just love it. Look at you guys. Oh, that is so cool, this baseball bed. Hey, look at the race car bed, Sam. I found the superhero room. I just saw it through a window. Let's check it out. Oh my gosh. It's just kind of plain though. Uh, just posters. It's just posters, totally. Oh man. Oh my gosh, I want this for Symphony. Oh, cool. That's pretty cool. It just does come with a slide. We're just not showing the slide. Oh my goodness, a slide? We found the bed for Abram, and good news is they have uh, next day delivery available, which is awesome. Perfect timing for his birthday. We're not going to show you guys the bed yet. It'll be a surprise. But he's going to love this thing. Yeah. Now we're going to the adult version of Rooms to Go. We got Abram his bed, and we got a piece of a dresser, and we've been ordering some stuff to match his room so on Amazon, funny. so... <laughs> <laughs> What'd you make at school today, buddy? I like uh, an alien. Has three eyes, like you? Daddy, dad, a big eye and a little eye and a little. What's his name? Mr. Alien. What does alien start with? What letter? A. Good job, man. What else did you do? <gasps> did you cut out a square? Yeah. Abram got in trouble for hitting today. He's grounded from the TV and from the phones. So he's playing basketball instead. We should ground him more often. Dad, I can play with this basketball hoop. Yeah, you can. Nee and I have recently been in a discussion about how to teach Abram to defend himself because he's been hitting a lot. He's at that age where he just wants to hit. It's just so confusing. Like, what do you teach your son? Do you teach him to just duck, run? I think that mindset can lead into him eventually not wanting to fight his own battles. Like him becoming defenseless or helpless against, you know, conflict. I think he should literally, like, we should teach him to say the words, like, I'm going to turn the other cheek because that's what the Bible says. Really? I am for no violence. None. I don't care. I believe in fighting back but not any more than necessary, you know? Sometimes a punch can deader a bully, completely deader than from ever picking on you again. If you're just defending yourself, stopping- We don't do that, that's what I'm saying. We don't up. teach them to do that. Teach them to go over there and play with run? them. Run? Not run, but just Even like- Even worse. No, just be confident, like, you're not worth my time, Bye. It doesn't work that way, honey. It can. People will get you in a corner. You can't always just say you're not worth my time. How was Crazy Hat Day, Crazy Hat Girl? Yeah. Do you have any important yeah. news to share with the family? Yes. Yeah. 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 What? I ate the beef jerky off her Oh, she hat. ate the beef jerky off of her hat. What's the other exciting news? I got all green. That's exciting, but what else about your hat? Where is it? And I have shotguns on it. She's just teasing you guys. 
Remember you told me it was written on the board? I got free dress day. For having? The best hat. Hey. You got the best crazy hat? Hey. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And for the reward, they get to have free dress. She wears uniforms at her school, and so because she got third place in the crazy hat contest, Don't she gets forget to free say dress. Monday. I'm proud of my on daughter. Monday. It's time for Sammy's nap to be over. I'm headed out for a girls' night. No. Oh, Put it in. Oh. Sam took a power nap because he's going to be with Symphony and Abram tonight, and he's tired. My top knot fell quite over. As you see, my sunglasses have returned to my face. I called the company and told them what happened. And they gave me an incredible discount for a second pair. I know, that's crazy, but I really love these sunglasses. So, anyway. What are your plans for us tonight? My plans are have some video time. Then we, then we play a game. Grounded. Then we're going to have craft time. Grounded, grounded, grounded. And this is your craft. So next on Symphony's agenda was to do the Magic Mixer Maker and we're making brownies and little bitty cakes. And we're actually making a Symphony's World video right now. We haven't made it in a long time. Put it in the mix. All right, Simpy, what is next on your agenda for this night with Daddy? Okay, so we're playing the pool. We're going fishing. Going fishing? I'm gonna mop the floor tonight. I'm gonna rejuvenate before we get the couches tomorrow. Because once we get the couches, it ain't happening again. Sleep with this guy? There we go. He has tiny hands. <laughs> tiny hands, doesn't he? Abram, do you like your crib? <laughs> I hope you have a good night in it. Because tomorrow it's not going to be the same. I love you, little guy. Oh no. I haven't thought about it yet, guys. It's making me really emotional thinking about him leaving his crib. This is his last night in his crib. Look, our baby's gone. Cancel the order. I don't want the bed to come in. Cancel. I'll keep being my baby forever. Comment of the day goes to Nicole Elise. No matter how someone looks on the outside, whether like a ladybug or a cockroach, we all fall short of the glory of God on the inside. That is so good and so perfect and so true, and that's exactly what it means. 
That's what it means that a ladybug and a cockroach both look ugly underneath. We all have sin. We will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget, as always, we love you and remember to love each other.